I am Assistant Professor Urmi Shah from ITICT Department of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So today we will be continuing with our session number 18 on unit number 3 Traffic Engineering of Telecommunication Engineering subject. So let's move ahead with the topics that we are going to cover in today's session. Following are the topics that I am going to cover in this session. So in this lecture we will be discussing about what is traffic, what is traffic analysis, what are the network traffic load parameters and many more things about traffic engineering area. So basically traffic engineering focuses on the major telecommunication field where you have to deliver a better quality of service to the customers in terms of the reception and the sending of information from one point to another point without any lossage of information. So basically traffic engineering is required in telecommunication network planning to ensure that network costs are minimized without compromising the quality of service delivered to the user of the network. It is based on probability theory and can be used to analyze mobile radio networks as well as other telecommunication networks. Mobile radio networks have traffic issues that do not arise in the fixed line PSTN, a mobile handset moving in a cell receives a signal with varying strength and this signal strength is subject to slow fading, fast fading, interference between other signals. So these are the causes that signal strength can be affected while any radio transmission or in radio communication. So these things we have to keep in mind whenever we are considering a error free communication between two distant points. So it is already based on the probability theory that we have discussed in chapter number 2 that is least probability for time space time switching. So the same theory can be applied over here for calculating the traffic also. Moving ahead, traffic engineering balances following factors based on given amount of traffic. It basically judges the grade of service and the resources that is the trunk channels we are providing to our subscribers. Two types of systems implemented to provide voice communication. First is the blocking of system that is the voice or data is blocked whenever there is a busy signal if network resource that is the trunk channel is not available between the sender and receiver. So grade of service is going to decide the blocking probability of the system. Delay system focuses when there is a delay or lagging back of the network resource whenever a voice data is coming from one end to another end. So voice or data is queued until network resource is available. Grade of service focuses on queuing probability and average time in queue. Then furthermore the holding time, holding time focuses on the length of time that a resource is being held. The amount of time duration for which the resource is held for certain purpose. That is the duration of the phone call which we call it as hold time. Traffic volume for an interval is the sum of all the traffic holding times for that interval. Traffic intensity is equal to traffic volume divided by time interval which is a measure of demand. So these are the various 
parameters associated with traffic engineering that is traffic volume and traffic intensity and holding time now the units of traffic engineering focuses on the following concepts first one is arlong arlong is a unit to measure the traffic intensity it describes traffic intensity in terms of number of hours of resource time required per hour of elapsed time so whatever the time or the hour that is occupied whenever the resources are in use divided by the time of elapsing is known as the traffic intensity and that is described in terms of hour long next is ccs that is centim call seconds it measures the exact same traffic intensity as the arlongs but expresses it as the number of 100 second holding times required per hour traffic registers same uh, sample stations every 100 seconds per hour to check for busy since there are 36 sets of 100 hours or 100 seconds in an hour so 36 ccs that is centim call second is equal to 1 hour long so this is the conversion of one unit of traffic intensity to other unit hour long and ccs both are the units of traffic intensity further units are hour long can have the measurement of traffic intensity and it can calculate it by having the ratio of average number of calls simultaneously in progress over a certain time and it is a dimensionless unit so question can be asked like that that the unit of traffic intensity is in dimension 1 uh, or dimension 2 or it is dimensionless then you can take the option dimensionless as it is not having any dimensions One hour of continuous use of one channel is equal to one hour long. So it is actually one hour long is equal to one hour or sixty minutes of traffic. In data communication, an hour long that is one e is equal to sixty four kbps of data. In telephone, one hour long is equal to sixty minutes. That is thirty six hundred call seconds. and that decides the percentage of occupancy so these are the different units of traffic engineering focusing on the examples so here the first example given over here is for example if a group of user made 30 calls in 1 hour and each call had a call duration average of 5 minutes then number of furlongs this represent is worked out as follow <coughs> so <coughs> minutes of traffic in the hour is equal to number of calls into duration so minutes of traffic in the hour is equal to 13 into 5 so total 150 minutes of traffic in an hour is occupied so 150 divided by 60 is 2.5 furlong so this is the direct calculation for traffic intensity 2.5 hour long is the traffic occupied by a particular network or a particular user now what is the parameter is call holding time call holding time is the length of time during which a traffic source engages a traffic path or channel that is from 1 to 3 minutes typically greater than 10 minutes in frequent for voice so this is the graph for call holding time it depends on the holding time and the probability that the user is able to attach or it is able to hold the call for a specific time duration third the next type is busy hour busy hour is that continuous 60 minutes time span of the day during which the highest usage occurs so this is busy hour busy hour in short means that 60 minutes of time in whole day 
where you have highest number of calls that is known as the busiest hour of the day for example in amdavar the in 6 uh, to 7 time uh, that is in the evening you have lot of traffic of buses vehicles due to the job people who are living from one area to another area so that is the busy hour in terms of traffic on road same way traffic on call is the busy hour in whole day where you have maximum numbers of call now uh, in busy hour there are some points that we have to be uh, keep in mind that is busy hour may not occur at the same time every day weekly there is a variation in busy hour or there is a variation in weekend weekday or there is a seasonal variation like on sunday many people are free so they will go and they will have lot of calls but while in monday to saturday all are busy and uh, very few calls will be initiated so busy hours keep changing on weekdays or on seasonal changes or on day to day basis mathematical formulas assume the busy hour traffic intensity is the average of an infinite number of busy hours so this is all about busy hour then there are various different types of hours which are categorized in terms of busy hour the first one is average daily peak hour it determines one when the busiest hour separately for each day different time for different days and then average over for example in specific 10 days which one was the busiest hour the resolution of the start time of the busy hour may be either a full hour that is average daily peak hour in a full day or in an hour that is quarter of an hour the next type of time is time consistency busy hour it is a period of 1 hour and it is same for each day which gives the greatest average traffic over for example in 10 days which is that one specific time slot of an hour where it is always occupied with a call that is time consistent busy hour consistently for 10 days it is going to be busy the other type of uh, hour is fixed daily measurement hour it is a predetermined fixed measurement hour that is from 9:30 to 10:30 or from 10 to 11 the major traffic is averaged over and it is measured for 10 continuous days and then it is analyzed that 10 to 11 is always busy that is the fixed daily measurement hour so generally the ratio or the call duration uh, variation goes in this way that the average fixed daily measurement hour is always less or equal to the average time consistent busy hour that is less or equal to average daily peak hour so this is how the format for busy hour goes coming to the next topic that is traffic density and traffic intensity what is the basic difference between traffic density and traffic intensity so basically traffic density is defined as the number of simultaneous call at a given moment while traffic intensity represents the average traffic density during any one hour period so this is the basic difference between density and intensity occupancy is any use of a traffic resource regardless of whether or not a connection is completed occupancy is the probability of finding the trunk busy is equal to the proportion of time for which the trunk is busy then coming to the different types of system that is lossy and delay system basically what is a loss system a loss system is one in which a call attempt is rejected when there is no idle resource to serve the call that is block call cleared if there is not any line available to connect a call at that time whatever call is initiated by the user it is going to be disconnected by the line 
Then a delay system. A delay system is one in which call attempts are held in a waiting queue until resources are available to serve the call. That is called waiting or busy call. We can say. At night time, the user has to wait for some time such that the other user gets free from the particular call. So that is loss and delay system. Coming to the other different types of traffic and coming to traffic intensity, this we will be discussing in the next session. That is traffic intensity, its units and its various examples in depth we will be discussing in the upcoming session. Following are the reference books for the topics that we have covered today. You can refer them for the reference. Thank you very much for watching this session. Thank you.